Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Terrain Showcase. This time I have another set of these ruins that I built up. This set I'm calling the Abandoned City of Colchester. The whole set has 40 pieces. There are 9 bridges, 5 ladders, 11 resin cast walls, 1 fountain, 3 planters, 6 rubble piles, and 14 different sized ruins. They go from uh, little guys that aren't really on screen, kind of off to the right, to this very large manor house type piece in the center there. There's also, there's a, about three very large pieces and then various size smaller pieces. I'll jump the camera off the tripod and we'll check everything out a little bit closer. So, starting at the front here, we have this little fountain with a broken statue, his body is there, and the head is sitting right here. And then we have one of these rubble piles that has a tree in it. And all of the trees are removable, most of them, except for maybe two of them, and all the ones that are inside the planters, because you can't really get models inside the planters anyways, so they are just kind of line of sight blockers. And then again, there are 11 of these resin cast walls that I've done. And moving on, we have the small cottage. All of the front doors have a little bit more brickwork design and they've all been picked out in a little bit of brown. Something different. And the roofs have, uh, a couple of them have this reddish tone and a couple of them have more of like a yellowish orangey tone to them. I was going to do some grey but I thought the grey was too much grey. So uh, Again all of these bridges are removable so I've just kind of stacked them up to look cool. These are two separate buildings. The lighting isn't the greatest back there. And then way back in that corner there's a building. Again there will be full sets of pictures up on my Facebook and I'll link to that in the description below. To give you a better look at some of these guys. Because I set them up so tight as you can see this building here is actually sitting off of the kind of display area because there's not enough room for them all. So this guy has a front section too. And then there's this, I built a manor house in the last one. This is kind of the same design but it has this front part built off of it. And inside of here there is some chairs and a little uh, table. We got some upper floors. There is a third floor way up here, just a little guy. It might be hard to actually get miniatures in there. And then inside this little cottage, there is, if you can see down there, is a little grandfather clock. Sorry, I'm trying not to make it super motion sickness for you. And then we have the large manor house. We'll kind of back out on that one. So it's kind of got this corner thing going on and then it's all... I have to scoot around this light here, sorry. It's all destroyed. There is a shelf or something down there. And then around this side there is a piano there and a little stool. And then some of the planters have these large trees inside of them. I've had these trees for quite a while. I thought this project was good enough for them. And then back here we have a couple more of these smaller buildings that can be placed to make a larger footprint again. And then in this back corner we have the last of the... There's about three large buildings. So there's this church. I'll show you that church in a second. There's that is like the centerpiece, large manor house, and then there's that like city hall building I guess, something like that. But again, this church, if I can scoot around this light again, this church has this kind of idea, this front gate 
There's another entrance back there you can kind of see through that broken spot. But then it's same thing, same thing, and then the idea was that the rest of the church will be back there, but that's all been destroyed. So we got crosses in all the windows. There is a tree growing up here. This door's been all boarded up. And then we have the interior. Again, it's sorry, it's hard to hard to move some of these guys. But again, there'll be another set of pictures up on my Facebook, so you can check pictures out there. So that gives you a little bit closer look at the abandoned city of Colchester. If you're interested in picking up this set or another set just like it, you can email me at greenleafterrain at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy wargaming.